here we go. Dax, welcome to Vlad TV. Thank you. I, I got to do my, my intro before we start. It goes like All this. Right, let's do it. It's your boy Dax, and we back at it like a bad habit. If you want something, better go grab it. And today, baby, me and Vlad finna make a big play. Come on. Let's go. Got to start like that. Let's go. Well, first of all, man, congratulations, because I'm looking at your body of work, and uh, you got some hits under your belt right now. Thank you. Uh, I mean, shit, Cash Me Outside is at 19 million views. Damn. Uh, she Cheated is over 7 million. Yep. Uh, a couple of your freestyles are like 7 million plus, 9 million plus. Yeah. Um, and then just a whole bunch of other joints that are like 1 to 2 million. Like, you actually have a, a catalog. You know, Thank which you. is not something a lot of people could accomplish. Yeah, no, it's definitely been a, a blessing to be able to create the traction I've created, you know, just by smart marketing tactics, guerrilla marketing, you know. So it's definitely been a great thing. Yeah, man. I always say that, like, when it comes to music, anybody could have a hit song. Yeah. Anybody could have one hit. Yeah. I don't care if you have zero talent. You can't, you could, can, like, not speak English. Like, yeah. <laughs> whatever. Anyone could accidentally get a song that goes viral, becomes a hit, whatever else. But to consistently do it over and over again, that's what kind of separates the men from the boys. Exactly. And for me, it's just been like, a, you know, for me, it's the understanding that not everything hits. But I, I always go to, into things with the mentality that, you know, a hit song isn't made, it's marketed. So, you know, I make marketing plans for songs that I truly believe in and make sure that I, you know, get it to as many people as possible through what I got and just motivate other people to share, you know. So it's been great to get the success. Yeah, no, it's smart because, you know, I think a lot of artists, they, they create their music and then they wait for someone to put them on or someone to co-sign them or a label to come around exactly. or something to just magically happen. And what I tell people, you know, and people hit me all the time like, yo, my song is dope. I need an interview. You know, and I look and it's like it's got a thousand views. Yeah. And it's, and, and it's like, listen, you could have the dopest billboard in the world, but if it's in your basement, no, no one's going to see it. Wow. Facts. Yeah. So that's my thing, man. Just always just push, 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 motivating people to push it, you know, and, and it's always like, it's not for me. You know, I, I do a lot of like motivating stuff for other people. So a lot of the times, you know, it's like kids are helping me out because I'm helping them out. So I'm providing that service of, you know, something for them. And like in return, they help me push my shit. So. No doubt. Now you were actually born in Canada. I was, I was born in Newfoundland. It's like a fish town. It's real small. But then I moved to Ottawa when I was like, pro probably... Uh, probably like one or two, probably when I grew like damn near my first tooth or something. Something like that. So yeah, I moved to Ottawa. And then, yeah, I grew up there for 18 years. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then you went to college. Went to college. So I was in, um, so I wanted to play college basketball, made the decision seventh grade. I'm going to be a college basketball player. I'm going to play pro basketball. I want to go play in the U.S. Had no offers my senior year. Met a man at a bus stop. Uh, I brought, he brought an illegal school into, um, into Ottawa. So met him at a bus stop. Uh, we played his team in a preseason game. Someone filmed the game on an iPad. S then he sent that to Coach Kyle the next day when I saw him at the YMCA because I used to practice there. He sent that to Coach Kyle, who was the coach of Sunrise Christian Academy, a prep school in Wichita, Kansas. He saw it, flew out there, tried out, made the team, went there. Then went junior college in Casper, Wyoming, D1 in Missoula, Montana. Then back to D2 in Wichita, Kansas, where I just finished in May. Okay, so is one of those Newman University? Yeah, Newman. That's where I just graduated from. Okay, got it. Okay, so so you were really trying to go pro in basketball, yeah. and what exactly happened to prevent that? So what, what prevented that was just me, like, finding my talent. You know, basketball was something I had to put so much time and effort into to become. Like, I wasn't a natural-born basketball player. Like, I'm 6'2", and, like, I could jump and stuff like that, but, like, I wasn't natural at it. So I had to put so much effort. So when I found, when I wrote my first poem on the bus that day, and I was like, wow, this is good. And I didn't even like know I had this. It was finding like, oh my God, I can do something that's not basketball. And this is like my actual talent. So that's when I made the decision right there. Like I swear I should be doing for the rest of my life. Okay. And I guess while you were going to Newman, um, you were a janitor, like a night janitor. Yeah. I worked overnight for two and a half years there. Uh, and it honestly, was a bit, it was the best decision I ever made. And I tell people all the time, that job really helped me do what I was doing because it's like, when you're an overnight janitor, no one's like watching you. So I was able to like speed through my work and I could like sneak out and go to the studio 
or I could like you know go chill in the janitor closet and work on my social media or writing songs and rap. So it was like it's it's a great job because no one's like being like oh you can't be on your phone for this whole time. Like there's nothing like that. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> if my employees work for thirty minutes and then start fucking around, <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it will not last very long. Let me yeah. tell you. <laughs> I think I've had a few that tried that in the past. Uh-oh. Um, that's dope, man. But to actually have the the discipline to be a janitor for two and a half years, like a job that I think most people would look down on and, you know, ridicule people over. You actually had, you know, the stamina to actually go through this and, and, and do that and use it to actually help your craft. Exactly. And I, and I knew like when I, when I got the job, I knew that it was going to be a great story in five years or two, two and a half years or three years. So that's one thing that motivated me through it as well. I was like, yeah, I know it's going to be a dope story eventually when I get to where I want to get to. So that's, that helped me push through it. So that's what's up. 